In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on trigonometric ratios of allied angles. It's going to be a little advanced as well, so let's see what it is. So here is a question. Uh, it says prove that cos 90 degrees plus theta times secant of minus theta into tan 180 degrees minus theta divided by secant 360 degrees minus theta sine 180 degrees plus theta into cot 90 minus theta equals negative 1. So, well, we just have to see cos 90 degree plus theta is what? 90 plus theta is the second quadrant. Second quadrant cos is negative. So, it's going to be minus. Cos is going to be cos. Well, no, because it's 90 degrees. Cos is going to change to sine. So, it's going to be sine theta. And secant of minus theta is just secant theta. Because uh, it is a reciprocal of cos. So, cos minus theta is just cos theta. So, secant minus theta is going to be just secant theta. And tan of 180 degrees minus theta. 180 degrees minus theta again lies in the second quadrant. Second quadrant tan is negative, so it's going to be minus. 180 is not going to change anything. So it's going to be minus tan theta divided by secant 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta lies in the fourth quadrant. And fourth quadrant cos and secant are positive. And 360 doesn't change anything, so it's going to remain secant theta. And 180 degrees plus theta lies in the third quadrant. Third quadrant sine is negative. So we have a minus. And 180 degree doesn't change anything. So it is sine as it is. So it's minus sine theta. And cot 90 minus theta. 90 minus theta lies in the first quadrant. Everything is positive. But 90 changes things. right? So cot becomes tan. So it becomes tan theta. Minus sine theta. Minus sine theta gets cancelled. Secant theta. Secant theta gets cancelled. Tan theta, tan theta get cancelled and all we are left is with minus 1. So we proved it. It's just a one step answer if you believe me. And I told it was an advanced problem. Well, it doesn't depend on the length of the problem if it is advanced or basic. You know, it depends on the concepts. And there was quite a lot of, uh, you know, calculations to do mentally at least. So, which I think makes this problem qualified as an advanced problem well it is just left to you if it's basic it's basic or advanced or advanced whatever that is the easier you understand the more basic the problem seems so this ends this problem let's quickly solve another problem before we conclude this video all right so here we've got another problem which says prove that 2 sine squared 3 pi by 4 plus 2 cos squared pi by 4 plus 2 sec squared pi by 3 equals 10 and what's pi again it's 180 degrees so we've got 2 sine square 3 pi by 4. What is 3 pi by 4? 3 pi by 4 is 3 times 180 divided by 4. 4 goes 4 times in 18. 45. 4 goes 45 times in 180. 45 times 3 is 135 degrees. So it's sine square 135 degrees plus 2 cos square, well, uh, 45 degrees. 180 degrees divided by 4 is 45 plus 2 sec square 60 degrees, 180 by 360. So what is 135 now? Sine square, 135 degrees, you can write it as 90 degrees plus 45, right? So 2 cos square 45 and 2 sec square 60 degrees. So now 90 degrees plus 45 lies in the second quadrant, right? So it's going to be positive. Now, since it's 90 degrees, this is going to change to cos square. So, cos square, 45 degrees. Plus 2 cos square, 45 again. 45 degrees plus 2 sec square, 60 degrees. So, cos 45 is what? Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. And cos square, 45 is 1 by root 2, the whole square. Plus the same thing again. 2 times 1 by root 2, the whole square. Plus 2 secant 60 degrees and nothing but the reciprocal of cos 60 which is 1 by 2 so it's, it's going to be just 2 so 2 square so we're going to have 2 into 1 by 2 plus 2 into 1 by 2 1 by 2 because root 2 the whole square is 2 plus 2 square is 4 4 times 2 is 8 2 and 2 gets cancelled 2 and 2 gets cancelled 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 8 is 10 rhs Right, so therefore we prove that this is equal to 10. Very simple again or very complicated. All you have to know is your basic trigonometric ratios. What's tan 60, sine 60, cos 45 and so on.
So this ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more concepts.